What's going on everyone? Um, haven't had a haircut the past couple weeks. My brother just got out of town. He's the one who's been cutting me up these past couple times. But as you guys can see, boy needs an edge, a haircut. I need a little bit of everything. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do my own haircut with the self-cut challenge my boy Eric made. Uh, let's see what I can do. All right, so first things first, you're just gonna grab your clipper, close all the way, make your first guideline. Doesn't have to be nothing too clean as long as you can see where it's at. Then I go ahead and uh, open up my guard here. And I'm pretty much going to follow the same process I always follow. I do closed guard, open guard, number one closed, number one open, one and a half closed. And you pretty much just keep following that all the way up until you can. And then uh, I'll go back underneath and fade that out with a half guard and then eventually fade out the line. You are going to notice here that my hair is gelled back. The reason I did that is my hair up top is a lot longer and I got tired of it getting in my way. So I pretty much just gelled it into place and that way I was able to fade underneath it a lot easier here. You are going to notice that since this is my first time using the self cut system, it's a little awkward for me. I'm not going to lie. So it took some getting used to when I first went in there, I was a little kind of scared I guess you could say but little by little every single stroke it started getting a lot easier and I started picking up different angles with the mirrors and uh, these mirrors actually work pretty good <clears throat> yeah the mirrors work pretty good I was actually able to see the back of my head and everything here so here I'm just kind of fading back out like I said with the half guard and the good thing that I like about these mirrors is I could kind of see it with this or I could take a step back and look at the other mirror and I'll be able to see if I left any lines or anything or if I need to go back in and do any touch up work. Here you're just pretty much going to see me use my edger, kind of take that edger up as high as I can, try to get that fade nice and tight and then just kind of clean up my facial hair. I don't have too much facial hair, but just a clean shave goes a long way, man have you looking 10 years younger after that. At the end, I'm still going back in, doing touch-up work. Like I said, if you see any little flaws in the mirror, the mirror doesn't lie. Always take a step back, look in the mirror, you'll be able to see any little lines. So something that might look clean to you, from somebody walking down the street, they might be like, oh, that guy still got a line in his fade. So make sure you always go back in and touch up, do touch-up work. That's where the fade really starts to stand out there. Final step, I always use my shaver right underneath where I went with the edger. Now I use my shaver and try to get it as close as I can without creating another line. And if you do create another line like I just did, I kind of just use my edgers and go back in and just slowly flick it out. Whenever I do my front edge, especially when I have longer hair, I always trim it down with the one and a half first. And then that way all those hairs will lay down and it'll be a lot easier for me to edge up and it'll it'll just stand out a lot more as well obviously you don't want to take that one and a half a crazy amount back to where it looks like you're missing a whole patch in the front of your head you just want to do it lightly to any of the little baby hairs there and anytime i'm edging i try to you're you're always gonna have to push back a little bit you don't want to push back too crazy to where the hair is going to look all jacked up within a day or two. So just as long as you get it as sharp as you can without having to push it back too crazy. This is what I mean about it being a little awkward. Uh, whenever I'm doing the blade, I, I was so used to doing it on clients that whenever I first started trying to do it on myself, I was finding myself trying to look for different angles on how to approach it. But little by little, I kind of got used to it and I was able to do it. So I always usually go with the grain and then against the grain. It'll make it a lot easier. But since I'm doing it on myself, I knew where the tension was and I was able to just go against the grain. Right here, you guys are just gonna see me clean up my eyebrows. Just gonna trim them down a little bit. I usually trim them down, then I kind of edge them up a little bit with my edger. 
then I'll just go through with my blade and sharpen them up as much as I can. You guys are going to see me use my bronze shaver and just kind of go back underneath everything, make sure everything's nice and clean. This is where I, I attempted to do the back of my head, and I'm not going to lie. I tried a couple times, but I was too scared. All right, so I went ahead and just wrapped this up. I just gave myself a quick front edge, did some high tapes on the side. I'm not going to lie, this self-cut is a lot more awkward than I thought, so I got a little scared around the back. I went ahead and had Eric just kind of edge me up in the back. But I uh, just gave myself a front edge, high tapes, like I said, cleaned up my eyebrows a little bit, just shaved up all the little peach fuzz I have off. So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling a lot fresher now, ready for the weekend. But um, if you guys want to see any more videos or anything different, like any certain type of haircuts or anything, just leave comments below. Me and Eric are going to do our best to try to get to them. But for now, uh, this is the final result. Let us know how it turned out. Are you drinking fine? <laughs> <laughs>